what it takes. I'm putting a new face on the old one, ready for anything. Playing with fate, not a moment too late. Showing the whole world. Will you just listen to me? Anyway, like I said, I don't know what kind of man this John C. Hamilton is like. All I know is that for a man who's supposed to pull off a friendly takeover of a company, he ain't very friendly. <laughs> well, for one thing, he's already fired six secretaries and a security guard. Oh, and this morning I find out that we no longer validate parking. <laughs> I tell you, I'm so worried about my job. That man is coming here today. I tell you, I would do anything to keep this job. Well, <laughs> yeah, I would. I would do anything to keep this job. Eddie, what am I going to do? The Wall Street Journal says that every time John C. Hamilton takes over a company, he trims the fat. <laughs> Nell, look at your office. Yes, sir, I, I cleaned it up. <sighs> exactly. Mr. Hamilton's credo is a messy desk is a busy desk. A busy desk is a working desk. Starve a cold, feed a fever. I'm sorry, come again? Exactly. Mr. Hamilton's credo is a messy uh, desk sure, is a busy sure, desk. A messy sure, desk sure, is a working sure. desk. Sure. Starve a cold, there, feed a fever. There, yes, there. Thank you. That's much, much there, better. There. Shoot, here he comes. Look, Ooh, busy. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Hello, brother. Oh, Mr. Hamilton. Uh, this is my top assistant editor, <laughs> Nell Harper. Hi, Mr. Hamilton. Love to talk to you, but I'm very busy right now. Mm-hmm. Oh, sure, sure. Uh-huh. Oh, well, that's how we got our reputation here, Magdalene Lau. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, of course, honey. I'll be here till at least 9.30 or 10 o'clock. No, we executives don't get overtime, nor do we expect any. No, 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 I would be very happy to read your manuscript, okay? Miss Harper? Don't you see that I am on the telephone? The switchboard says your phone's off the hook. Ooh, they are so confused downstairs. They won't be for long. Incidentally, Broderick, I've been looking at the structure of your department. Oh, that's a good idea, sir. Uh, Mr. Hamilton, I know you have a reputation for trimming fat, and I just want to assure you that everyone in my department is indispensable. That is so true. A good butcher starts by cutting off the head of the cow. Oh. oh. Uh, Mr. Hamilton, uh, Miss Harper is very valuable. <laughs> yes. You don't understand, Mr. Broderick. You're the head of the cow. Uh oh. <laughs> Mm. With severance pay, of course. Oh, that's so generous of you. Oh, here's your watch. Here, babe. <laughs> to blank. Thanks for many years of loyal service. <laughs> Have your name engraved on it later. Good luck, brother. Yeah, good luck, honey. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks for the watch. I don't want to be late for the uh, security guard's going away party. <laughs> So, you're an assistant editor, Miss Harper. Well, actually, I am the meat of this company. I'm a lean, mean editing machine. <laughs> Can't pinch an inch. I like that. Oh, good. <laughs> hi, Daddy. Oh, hi, honey. Molly, this is Miss Harper. Oh, hi, Molly. Are you having fun keeping Daddy company while he fires everybody in sight? <laughs> oh, busy, 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 busy. <laughs> I haven't had any fun since I've been here. Oh. Molly used to arrive from uh, Europe. She was attending Madame de Fleur's school for girls in Paris. Oh, that is a great school. Ma belle jeune fille. Je t'aime, Papa. Yeah, Chevrolet Coupe. I just love <laughs> Honey, as soon as you make some friends, you'll be fine. I'm afraid it's hard on Molly with me being a single parent. And with her coming to New York in mid-semester like this, she left all of her friends in Paris. 
Well, you know, Mr. Hamilton, maybe I can be of service to you. Molly, honey, do you like little boys? Sure. <laughs> Have I got a boy for you? <laughs> no! No way! Now, I am not spending my afternoon with some dumb girl. Oh, come on, Joey. I'm not asking you to make a lifetime commitment. All I'm asking you to do is just meet Mr. Hamilton's daughter. Come on. I mean, just to fill a lonely little void in her life and just she make some little friends. Can't we just buy her a little dog? Hey, forget it. <laughs> Don't do me no favor here. I'm not going to force you to do what I want. It's not like me to force children to do what I want them to do. <coughs> oh, shut up. It's not like I'm going to stop you from watching television. Oh, no. It's not like I am going to make you go to bed every night at 6 o'clock. Mm -mm. No, no. It's not like I am going to make you eat liver three nights in a row. Now, you can eat a meat, Molly, if you want to. I don't care. Oh, Lord, if I meet. Hey, little boy. What? Okay, I will meet Molly, but I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to like her. Fine. 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 Okay. <laughs> Setting Joey up with the boss's daughter? No. <laughs> I'm just trying to help a lonely little girl. Oh, I see. Just taking pity on a little stranger in town. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. So it's just a coincidence that she happens to be the boss's daughter? Look, Addie, this is for Joey's sake, too. I mean, Molly has lived in Europe. She speaks several languages, and she knows all about art and music. It's about time that Joey met somebody on his own level. Oh, so in other words, now you're doing this for Joey to expand his horizons. But you're not doing this for you just so you won't lose your job. <laughs> I think I better get the door. Allie! Oh, am I late? Oh, I'm sorry. I got out of class and I took the train to New York and I ran all the way here from the subway station. A am I late? Samantha, honey, sit down. Yeah, baby, catch your breath and just what would you be late for? Well, for Matthew's birthday party. Well, no, no, you're not late. Actually, you kind of early. It's this weekend. <laughs> so it's the six at two, not the second at six? Exactly. Oh, yeah. uh, well, now at least I can buy Matthew a really great birthday present. Oh, I'm so glad you're at home. <laughs> Isn't she sweet? Yes. She wants to buy Matthew a really great birthday present. Thanks, now. <laughs> can I borrow 30 bucks? <laughs> Boy, Matthew, do I have a girl for you. Huh? I don't like girls. Get any eats. Go fish. You know, Matt, parents are always picking your friends for you. How come? Because they never like the friends that you pick for yourself. Matt, remember when I invited Jimmy Tantini over and Aunt Nell said she didn't even want me to play with him? Yeah, and he was cool. Yeah, he could make all these neat sounds with his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Aunt Nell thought there was a motorcycle in the hall. <laughs> Is Aunt Nell gonna pick my friends, too? Yeah. Oh. Molly, it's Joey Donovan to see you. He's cute. Thanks, Jeannie. Joey, you can go in now. Hi, Joey. I'm Molly. Hi. Thanks for coming over, Joey. Sure. Do you want to play foosball? No, thanks. Do you want something to eat? No, thanks. Gee. You've got everything in here but laser tag. Oh, that's coming on Friday. <laughs> Will you be busy Friday? Friday? No, I am free Friday. <laughs> Would you like a root beer float? You can make a root beer float? Sure, why not? Okay, sure. Cool. You want vanilla ice cream? Molly, I know you're lonely, but I just want you to know I'm here to fill a void in your life. <laughs> Could I have chocolate ice cream instead of vanilla? Sure. Great. Hi, Addie. 
Wait a minute. Don't I know you? Isn't your name Joey Donovan? Addie. Well, honey, I haven't seen you in ages. Ever since you met that little girl. It's only been a few days. <laughs> Nell, you never guess who's here. Mr. New York. <laughs> Joey Donovan! Oh, Joey Donovan! Oh, my baby, my baby. Tell me, how was tea at the plaza? <laughs> It was okay, but uh, the violins were a little loud. You, know? you mean you really had tea at the plaza? I was just kidding. Oh, yeah. Molly goes there every Saturday. It's a tradition. Then afterwards, the limo picked us up. And we went back to her place. <laughs> <laughs> and... Oh! <laughs> and we watched E.T. E.T.? I didn't know that was out on cassette already. Oh, it wasn't a cassette. Her dad called Steven Spielberg and had him send over a print. <laughs> you know, Mr. Hamilton has got a screening room right at his house. He can get any movie he wants. <laughs> you see what I told you, Addie? I told you my little Joey being with Molly would make him cold. <laughs> but, Connie, you must promise that you will call me when they have a Whoopi Goldberg film festival. <laughs> okay. Okay. Guess what? What? Molly invited me to go to the circus with her. Ooh, the circus! Oh, Joe, you're gonna have so much fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hear they have an elephant dancing Swan Lake in a tutu. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's 5 o'clock. I promise I'd call Mom. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hi, hey, you. Come back here. Is it now? Come here. Yeah? Give me your arm. Where did you get this watch from? Molly gave it to me. Joey, this is a Mickey Mouse watch. <laughs> yeah. No, no. This is a real Mickey Mouse watch. It must be at least 30 years old. 40. What can I tell you, Aunt Nell? Molly's crazy about me. <laughs> yeah. I think it's just great that you two are such good friends. You get along so well. All right. Aunt Nell? Yes? I would like you to buy me some new sweatpants. Joey? You have sweatpants. Aunt Nell, you don't really expect me to ride around in a limo, have tea at the plaza, in these new Air Jordan sneakers Molly gave me, in old sweatpants. Don't you know anything? <laughs> now, I want you to look in the dictionary at a word that describes exactly what Joey's become. It's right there next to the picture of the tall man with the slick back hair and the earring. <laughs> Gigolo. thinking maybe some hot dogs and french fries and some chocolate ice cream to go with your chocolate cake and some chewing gum no peanuts and some peanuts perfect hey girl, go wash up and get dressed for your party kid he's so cute he's the cutest <laughs> yeah i sure do know how to make my man happy <laughs> Tell me how. I got a date tonight. Send him to me. <laughs> what time you got, girl? Oh, I don't have a watch. You should ask Joey. He's the one with the new timepiece and the new shoes. Addie, please. And the new Addie, sweat stop pants. it. Come on. The Hamiltons are very rich people. I mean, to them, giving away a Mickey Mouse watch is like giving away a yo-yo. Uh, I wouldn't toss around the word yo-yo so loosely if I were <laughs> Fantastic, honey. Honey, you will definitely be the best-dressed man at Matthew's party. What party? I'm going to the circus. So... <laughs> Not today, honey. Today is Matthew's birthday party. But, Aunt Nell, I promised Molly, and you said I could go. I, I know, honey, but I I, I didn't remember that the, the, the circus was the same day as Matthew's birthday party. You have to be there. Otherwise, you're going to break his little heart. 
Now, don't make me feel guilty, Aunt Nell. It is not my fault Matthew was born today. <laughs> Boy, get your butt on that phone and tell that girl you're not coming over there or you're gonna regret you were ever born. <laughs> no can do. What? It's too late. The driver's already on his way. Now, now you've just got to let me go, Aunt Nell. First, he's taking me back to Molly's house. Then we're going to the Plaza for Tea, and then to the circus. Aunt Nell, I just can't miss the Plaza for Tea. That's one of our traditions. <laughs> okay, Joey. Fine. We have a tradition in this family, too. It's called, you're grounded. Aunt Nell. Okay, all right, all right, Joey, all right. Why don't you just, just call Molly and tell her to come over here? Why would Molly want to come over here? I'm gonna hurt uh, that little boy. Well. <laughs> Let me. Oh, be my guest, sweet cakes. Honey, life is not just about limousines and circuses, you know? It is for me, La Dolce Vita. <laughs> La Dolce Vita? It's an expression Molly taught me. <laughs> Nail, boy, get on the phone, call her, and tell her you can't come over there, okay? Okay, but what's Mr. Hamilton gonna say? He really wanted me and Molly to go to the circus together. Oh. Oh, he, he does, huh? Yep. And Molly says he gets pretty angry when he doesn't get his own way. First thing he does is start firing people. <laughs> okay, listen. When the driver gets here, I want you to go over to Molly's and I want you to go to Mr. Hamilton and, and then I want you to explain to him that you have to be here for your little brother's birthday, okay? Okay. And another thing, honey, when you do see Mr. Hamilton, I want you to tell him that your aunt is the sweetest, nicest, kindest person in the whole world. And also, I want you to tell him that I am the best aunt assistant ever. Now, at... I better get a pencil and paper. Oh, don't be funny. <laughs> not... Listen, when the driver gets it, you just go over there and you just tell the little girl that going to the circus does not compare with being at home with your little brother on his birthday, okay? It's final. Move. Okay. Just move. It's final, Joey. Hello? Yeah, he'll be right down. It's your driver. Go. See you later, Aunt Nell. Okay, now, wait a minute. Joey, Joey, don't forget now. You, you tell Mr. Hamilton that Joanne is the sweetest, I kindest person in the whole world, because I am. And you also tell that I'm the best assistant editor he ever had. Oh, I never thought I'd get out of Macy's in one piece. That place was a madhouse. Good grief, what all did you buy? Well, I bought a scarf and a sweater and a really great plaid skirt. It was a real steal. Oh, that's great, honey. But come on. What'd you get Matthew for his birthday? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Before we go to the circus, you want to make some ice cream sundaes? Molly, I can't have um, a soda. I, I have to leave. What do you mean? I can't go to the circus with you, Molly. Why not? Because today's my little brother's birthday, and we're having a party for him. You like your little brother better than me? Of course not, Molly. He's just a dumb brother. Huh? Yeah, and I thought I was your girlfriend. Look, Molly, I'm not ready to make any lifetime commitments right now. <laughs> okay, fine. Don't come to the circus with me, and don't ever come back here again. I never want to see you again. N never? Never. N never? Never. <laughs> what time does that circus start? <laughs> I just don't believe it. I just can't believe that Joey would miss his own little brother's birthday party. Now, why don't you try the Hamiltons again? I already called the Hamiltons. The housekeeper said that they should be out of the circus by now, so why don't I just call the phone in the car? Well, I called the phone in the car. It was busy. Joey must have it off the hook. <laughs> Poor Matthew. Poor Matthew? What about me? <laughs> Poor little old defenseless me who's always thinking of the other person. What about me? What about the lie I had to tell my mama and grandpa about why Joey wasn't at his own little brother's birthday party? Yeah, and your mama summed up her opinion of your story with one word. I didn't even know she knew that word. <laughs> oh, wait, Matthew Comer, you're not gonna eat another piece of cake, are you? This is for Joey. I saved this piece for him. Give it here, babe. 
Would you hold this, honey? Sure. Jump up here. Yeah! Oh, mm. you know, you're such a sweet kid. I love you. Look, I want you to go on your moon, and you can play with all of your new toys, okay? Okay. I'm going to come in there in a while. Listen, Pig, you take this, and I want you to eat it, okay? Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. And don't you worry. Joey will be home soon. That's it. I am going over to the Hamiltons, and I'm going to bring that little gigolo home. <laughs> well, I mean, what about Mr. Hamilton? Aren't you afraid you'll lose your job? Not anymore. My job does not matter when it comes to Joey's values. Besides, I can always dip into Joey's piggy bank. My values ain't that high. <laughs> Here's your ice cream soda, Molly. Thanks, Joey. You look so cute in that clown costume I bought you. <laughs> At least let me announce I don't you. need you to announce, but I can announce myself. I'm here. <laughs> Joey Donovan, where have you been? I have been waiting for you since 12 o'clock. I'm sorry, I know. I just forgot what time it was. Why didn't you look at your Mickey Mouse watch, you little rat? Get over here. Let's go home. No. Come on. Let's go home. Let's go. Oh, please don't make him leave, Mrs. Harper. I laugh in your general direction. <laughs> this is all your fault. You're the one who turned my little Joey into a gigolo, you little Jezebel. <laughs> Hey, why are you yelling at the kids? I'll tell you why. Because my little Joey was so interested in being with your little Miss Molly here that he forgot about his own little brother's birthday party. Miss Harper, get off the kids' back. You were the one that pushed the kids together. Oh, no, 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 no. I was just trying to do you a favor, okay? I mean, my little Joey needs another friend like he needs another nose. Get that nose off your face. <laughs> Look, Miss Harper, I don't like you coming in here and upsetting everybody. I know why you wanted Molly and Joey to be friends, so you could keep your job. No, 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 no. You can keep my job. Dolly, I want you to take off that watch and take off those shoes. We are not accepting presents from these people. We're not? You don't have to give them back. We don't? Oh, no, 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 no. We want to. We do? Otherwise, we's gonna be really sorry. <laughs> Another thing, I really don't care if you fire me. I'm not going to fire you. Oh, you're not going to fire me. Let's see. Is it because of Joey and little Miss Molly here? Or is it because I'm the best assistant editor you ever had at Magdalene and Loud? I'm not going to fire you because I sold the company two hours ago. <laughs> Hamilton, it's Paris calling. Daddy. If you and Joey will excuse me, honey, I'm sorry. I'm leaving for Cleveland in an hour. And I'll call you from my hotel room there before I leave for Hawaii, OK? Daddy. As soon as I get back, we'll spend some quality time together before I leave for Chicago, okay? Daddy! Oh, poor little girl. You know, some people never learn, do they? Uh, Joey, I want you to know I have learned a, a good lesson, okay? I will never use you to protect me again, all right? Aunt Mel? Yeah. I've learned something, too. You? Yeah? What's that? From now on, I'm having vanilla in my root beer floats. <laughs> I love you. Let's go home, okay. you little clown. Okay.